George, what an important message there, Robin. And now, as anger and heartbreak wash across the country, we also want to show you some striking images of solidarity and hope. Police and pro protesters coming together for justice. And T.J. Holmes is going to join us with that story. And T.J., this is real compassion in action. And George, look, we both know the fact is every newscast today is going to start with an image of something on fire, of smoke in the street, of a window being smashed, of somebody running out of the store with a stack of tennis shoe boxes. But there's something else I want you to see right now. Images that may not be as dramatic as that, but more powerful because they show us accurately who we are and who we can be. Louisville. A group of black men locking arms, forming a human barrier to protect a police officer separated from his unit. There are images of humanity and hope among the hurt and horror on the streets of American cities. And while fire and fury might lead newscasts and make front pages, people are also taking note of quieter yet powerful moments like this one in Atlanta. A police officer siding with protesters. Let them express their grievances because you have a right to be pissed off. Well, over there, they don't feel the same way. That's why I told them to shut the In Flint, Michigan, this sheriff getting praise. I took the helmet off and laid the batons down. Chris Swanson removed his riot gear and marched with protesters. I knew that the benefit far outweighed the risk. And when you show action of, listen, I'm going to make myself vulnerable in order to come into your circle and show you that I want to be that solution. That was the change maker right there. It was beautiful. Not a single arrest, not a single injury, not a single fire. These demonstrators erupting in applause as New York City cops took a knee while protesters called out the names of black men and women killed by police. Officers also kneeling in solidarity in Florida and California. Stronger together, can't be strong. Police chiefs in New Jersey and Wisconsin side by side with demonstrators. And this viral photo, a line of mostly white women putting themselves between police and protesters. Another moment getting attention.